Hi guys, it's me, Juniper Bloom Mystique, also known as Brianna. I am the one who brought about the ascension um, from activating pyramids to clearing Mount Shasta to undoing the false concept of time and the dark pull of the moon, which was really awesome, by the way. Um, and it's taken me three years to do it. So I'm an ascension master, master healer, and divine guide. A little different um, than anybody else you might meet. So if you're curious, if you want to know and you wish to ascend, I would recommend watching the videos on my channel, especially the Ascension playlist. It is all right there for all of you to see. Okay, I'm coming on today with a little bit of a special video. This is part of my energetic cleanse movement um, that I do. Um, so really, it's about the energy in the air and what we can do to heal through it right now. Um, and so right now, today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's in the energy. See this beautiful image of a black panther right here? That is my spirit animal, by the way. Um, had an awakening into that. And my beautiful spirit animals helped me along in my awakening journey. So they are very powerful beings. Um, so presence of power, right? Um, but I'm going to give you the energy. Um, and then we are going to do something. It's kind of like theta, but I'm not a theta healer. I'm a master healer. I bypass anything that is third dimensional, basically. Um, so it's very simple the way I do it. But all you have to do is be open to receiving, be receptive to releasing and receiving the new information and the healing that I'm going to provide today. So yeah, I'm going to be doing it somewhat like Theta. Again, I am not a Theta healer. I'm a master healer. Everything just comes through me um, on how to do things. So it's really simple, really not complicated. Um, all you have to do is listen, be open, and just say yes when you wish to receive, say yes when you wish to release, or just set the intention in general that you wish to be a part of the video and receive everything it has to offer, okay? So I'm going to talk about the energy of getting it done. Right now, within the ascension, with all the work that we've been doing, there is major energy about getting it done. Like we don't have time to procrastinate and we are so good at procrastinating. I would say 99% of us are constantly procrastinating. I do it all the time. Like, oh, this sounds good, but I'm tired, right? Like I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Or we get nervous. Like I don't want to do it. I don't want to put it off and we put things off. Um, and, you know, this can recreate regrets. It can create a lot of negative energy. And we can miss opportunities big time. But really what spirit is talking about right now is we may not have tomorrow, okay? With the ascension, with the way things are going, it is important. It is absolutely valid um, to take our power back right now. Taking our power back in every way, which means we can't procrastinate. We can't assume we have tomorrow to get the hard job done, right? We have got to take the steps today to do it. Think about the word procrastination. Why do we procrastinate? Why do we put things off? Either because our beliefs, we get, we think we can't do it. We don't want to work hard sometimes, right? Like, uh, so it's a waste. We get into a negative space. That's usually when procrastination takes hold. It's part of ego. It's part of our self-worth um, and things like that. And so if you look at people who, you know, entrepreneurs and things like that, they don't procrastinate. They are going, 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 sometimes to a detriment, right? Sometimes they don't stop. Sometimes they don't calm down. Um, so definitely recommend balance. But right now, it's like all these spiritual nudges, all these things that we should have, could have, would have, right? Um, the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. And so the energy this week is all about getting it done. There are no excuses. Okay. So I'm going to heal why we have excuses today. I'm going to kind of um, bring in light into our subconscious energy. And I'm going to remove all of the wounds that deal with procrastination, that deal with fear, that deal with excuses right? Like what if I tell them my truth, they're not going to hear it. They're not going to like me, all these kinds of things, right? Like it's just, we do it subconsciously too. So it may not be little thoughts of, oh, I can't do it. It may just be self-sabotaging behaviors, right? Because we do that. We self-sabotage. We think we can't do things. 
And it's not even necessarily thinking, like it just becomes patterning. It becomes patterning. We get stuck in these ruts. Everything is, is second best and we're okay with second best. Like why the hell are we okay with second best? Why are you okay with not, with not having your dreams? Like, like me, like I'm, you know, I want to be where I'm supposed to be, even if it's hard to get there. Okay. And so with that, we can't procrastinate right now. The energy is no excuses. We have to do it now. We have to dig our heels in. We got to do the work now. We've got to put in the time now. And we've got to be the ones who maybe we don't go party. Maybe we don't go be like the collective whole. Maybe we are working late at night. Maybe we are getting up at 5 a.m. when we wake up and putting our feet on the floor and we're meditating and we're connecting with spirit like crazy and we're we're doing these things and we have this drive within us that keeps us going and it keeps us going and we know that we may not have tomorrow. That's the energy right now. And that's exactly what spirit is validating is we may not have tomorrow, okay? The time is now to dig your heels in and do what we need to do. Otherwise, we may completely lose the opportunities to do so. And there are no excuses. It does not matter. It does no excuses. I don't care if we're tired. It's like, I'm so tired. I just want to sit down for five minutes. No, no, no. Just keep doing it. When you're done, you can rest. When you're done, you can rest, right? That doesn't mean to hurt yourself, but that definitely means to stop allowing excuses to take over. Stop allowing excuses to run the show because they do. They absolutely do, right? We we get into the space of excuses. If I do this, this will happen. Well, what if this happens? What if that happens? But by golly, what if the best thing happens, right? What if you put yourself out there, you quit your nine to five, you put yourself out there to make money on your own and you fall on your ass. Good, you learned something. There is no such thing as a failure. That word is such a detriment to our collective soul and it's a false word. So get it out of your head. If you fell on your ass, you know what that means? You're trying, you're doing your job. You're getting out there and you're doing it and you're not giving up and you're not letting excuses stop you. Oops, I fell once. Does that mean I'm a failure and I should quit the show? No, not necessarily, okay? Know when we might need change, but we keep going. We don't just quit, keep going. You find the avenues that work. You learn the lessons we need to learn. We take the steps forward and we do it. We do it, we do it, we do it. There are no more excuses. This is in my energy as well. There are no more excuses. It's now or it's never. It's now or it's never. Okay. No excuses. That is the absolute energy right now. And this is spiritually speaking. This is deciding where you want to go. This is this determines our future going forward. The energy, the actions we do right now, the work we're willing to put into things right now will absolutely unequivocally determine our future going forward. And we won't have the opportunity to do them that way again. And that is in the air right now, my friend. So what is your excuse? Why would we not want to do it? Why would we want not want to stand in our own power and say, fuck everything else. Screw all the negative aspects. Screw all the fear. Screw all of the, I'll do it later. I'm tired today. Oh, that sounds good. But I don't do the work now to implement them. Why? Wounds, being needing healing will do that. It's procrastination. Okay. It's self-worth. It's listening to others' judgments instead of your own. Those are the true reasons why we usually don't do what we need to do in the time that we do them. We're afraid of what others are going to think of us. We're tired. We don't, we don't understand that we have to put in that work sometimes. It's hard. It's not always easy. We have to go against all of that and just do it anyways. Do it anyways. Even if in that moment you don't see the outcome of why. We cannot count on others in the future. We can only count on ourselves. So this false reality of I'll go to work and they'll pay my bills every day as long as I show up and clock in is not going to run the show anymore. We have to be willing to step up and step in now. Take charge of your life. Take charge of your money. Take charge of your future. Take charge of who you are. Invest in yourself. Invest in your self-worth. That is the power we need to be in right now for the ascension. And if we're not, we can lose opportunities. We may never get, we will never get back again. 
Okay. The time is now. What we do now determines our future. What we put in now determines where we go. And it's work. It is not like we can just sit there and go, oh, but I'll do this for five minutes today and I'm going to be rich. No. People lie to you that make you think that's the way it works because <laughs> it's not the way it works. It's a lot of work. Okay. But what you put in now determines your tomorrow in a very big way. This is in a bigger way than ever before. It's always been that way. But we always would get second chances. The energy was much denser. You know what I mean? Where now is it's not like that. It's now or never energy. It is now or never. There is no excuses. It is time now. We dig our heels in. We go, we go, we go. And we don't allow procrastination. We don't allow fear. We don't allow doubt to take over anymore. Okay? So that's the energy right now. So if you're ready to heal those things, if you're ready to let go of the excuses and the reasons why we procrastinate or self-sabotage or have fear or don't express how we truly feel to the ones we truly care about or lack thereof, right? Like, are you afraid to tell somebody, you know what, I'm just not meant for you. Are you afraid to tell somebody, I love you. I am thinking of you today. Why do we come complacent, become complacent? Why do we become in fear? Why do we live from a place of fear all the time? Mm. Finding my passion. I'm here to wake you up. I'm here to show you that you have power within you. You've never known. We've known. We've known it down in our core, but do we use it? We're so afraid of judgment. We self-sabotage these things all the time. Are you ready? Are you ready to eliminate that? So I'm going to do that for you today, okay? So just momentarily, well, you don't even have to close your eyes. You don't have to do anything, but I'm going to do it this way, okay? So just participate with me. All you have to do is set the intention to receive, set the intention to partake, to release what needs to release, and receive what needs to be received for you. That's all you got to do, okay? You don't have to do it 100 times over. Just set that intention now if that's what you want. If not, you're welcome to go. Okay, but this right now is about healing. Not only is this video supposed to motivate you, it's supposed to make you look at things a little different and go, why the frick am I procrastinating? Why am I giving my power away every day? Why am I afraid to stand tall and not have others stand tall with me? That's not my fault. That's theirs. Why do I give my power away? Why am I so afraid? Why am I so afraid to do the work? Why am I so afraid to feel beautiful, to feel strong? Why do I let myself be wounded? Why do I let myself live in fear? This video is a powerful one for those that want to heal, want to be in their own power, want to create their reality, and want to ascend in every way. So the question is, what has been nudging you in your reality? You've been too afraid or procrastinating or just have not. You thought, I'll do it someday. Maybe someday. Maybe that's a hoop dream. Maybe it's just a dream. I can't live that way. Let's let all of that go, okay? So if you're with me now, this is for you to receive healing, powerful, powerful healing. No holes bar will change your life healing, okay? So I set the intention now to call in the energies of all of us that wish to receive. I call in the creator of all that is and all the angels that wish to help me here today, although not necessarily needed. We are opening up our subconscious, our conscious, and our past life realm, the energy of why we do the things that we do. We are going deep into the core of why. We are going to be releasing what blocks us and inviting in new energies of highest light and highest love and highest abilities possible. So be it, and so it now is. I powerfully bring forth this healing today for all of you to receive in every magical way. I'm calling on the energies of the north, the east, the south, and the west to surround you, anchor you, heal you, and guide you, to protect you and love you in every way. You are safe. You are safe. You are safe. Right here with me right now. I open you up to feeling vulnerable. I open your energy up to feeling vulnerable. Just have your hands up for receiving mode. That's all you have to do. This is truly about healing. This is truly about being open to having something different come your way, to being able to see why we do the things we do and to step up in the power that we are and to create our reality in every way. So I'm opening up your energy. I'm opening it up to the highest light possible. I'm opening up the realms above us in every way. Okay, these are 5D, 7D energies, if you want to call them that. It is what it is. It is just literally 
like going up into these higher lights of healing. Okay. And I will bring them down. We're going to cleanse you. I am going to subconsciously, consciously pass life into this life, remove what blocks you today. Okay. So I'm going to bring down this light. I'm going to bring down this light and I'm going to open up into your crown, into your higher chakras, into your energy. Everything we do is stored in our energetic base. It is stored in our energy. That is from our past, our present, and our future. It is everything all into one. Okay, that's what our energy chakra systems are. That's what they do. That's what we are. When we get sick, it's based from those. When we make decisions, it's generally based from that. So I'm bringing down this light and opening up all of your energetic systems, your conscious realm, your subconscious realm, all of your chakras, all of who you are. And we're going to go down to the base of existence of you, down to the blueprint of your soul. And we are going to begin removing what keeps you small, what makes you afraid. These are deep ego healings, okay? So I'm going deep into the ego self, deep into the exocentral self, deep into our neurological self, all of it, okay? is being opened up. You're being exposed. So I take away the need of feeling vulnerable or the, feel, the fear of feeling vulnerable, I am healing the fear of feeling vulnerable. I am safe to be vulnerable. I am safe to be vulnerable. I am safe to be authentically me. If you choose to receive these, just allow them to come into your space. Be open, be thankful, and say yes within. It doesn't have to be out loud. When I feel vulnerable, I feel powerful. Do you receive that? Say yes. When I feel vulnerable, I feel powerful. I am powerful. I am everything that I need. I am everything that I am. I am powerfully me. I am capable of doing everything I need to do in the moment I need to do them without fear, without haste, and without the energy of waste. If I'm feeling tired, I have the strength to go on. This I know. I no longer feel tired in those moments it's needed. I am strength. I am capable. I am powerful. I remove the fear of judgment. I remove the fear of judgment of others and of myself and of my family as well. I remove the fear of not being accepted in every way for who I am. I am accepted for exactly who I am today. I can now see the difference between others' reflections and that of my own. I can now see the difference between judgments and I let those go. I am not afraid to be judged. I am not afraid to be judged, for I can see it is not of my own. Only I have the powerful, only I have the power to judge what I do. And I don't judge at all. I remove the fear of being chastised. I remove the fear of feeling small. I remove the fear of being out there and for all to see. For if I shine brightly, I don't take others' light away at all. My light is allowed to shine freely. Others can choose to shine as well. My light does not dim anybody else's light at all. I am powerful. I am everything. I am. I am not afraid to be powerful. I am not afraid to dig my heels in and to keep going no matter what says to stop. I have everything I need. Everything I need has me. All I have to do is ask and I shall receive. All I have to do is ask and I receive immediately everything I need. I am not afraid. Fear is eliminated from my energy right now. I am healed from my past traumas and fears. I am healed from my ancestors. I am healed from my ancestral line. 
and any haste that was created throughout time. I remove the need to put things off and to procrastinate. I heal the energy of procrastination and I heal anything related to procrastination. What started my procrastination, where the procrastination came from, I heal it all, I heal it all. It is removed from my energy at this time. I welcome the energy of readiness. I welcome the energy of power. I welcome the energy of strength. I welcome the energy of knowing. I am knowing. And every moment I know what I need to do immediately. I trust in myself. I am powerful. I have everything I need to create my future. I am not afraid of being vulnerable. Other people's judgments do not affect me. I can see them clearly for exactly what they are, and they are not of me. I am free to be me. I am free to be authentically me to the core. I am not afraid of being judged. I am seen for the beauty that I am. I am seen for the power that I am. Everything else falls away with haste. Everything else dissipates and does not exist in my energy anymore. I accept all of this. I accept all of this now. I can see clearly when fear comes to my door and I am able to just keep it away. I am not afraid. I am powerful. I can receive my intuition with clarity and ease. And I create my reality with joy, excitement, and power, and passion, and everything that I am. Nothing stops me. I am ready. I am ready now. I am ready now. I am ready now. I am free from all that is not past life, this life, generational. It is all cleared and healed now. That will continue healing. That was a lot. It was a lot really fast. I dove in, I removed what I needed to remove, and we are replacing what we need to replace. Give yourself a little bit of time to keep receiving that. You will release and you will receive. It will continue forward. It may seem subtle, but it's not. That went deep into our subconscious. Every bit of who we are, from massive healing, to remove procrastination, to remove fear, to remove judgments. And that way we can see what we need to see so that we can do what we need to do. And we don't care about what others think. That's not what motivates us anymore. We are motivated by our passion, not other people's opinions. So be it. And so it now is. That healing will continue. Thank you all for joining me. Step in, step in now. 999 just came up as well. That talks about releasing for new beginnings. Okay. So the energy is now, my friends. If we miss these opportunities, we'll never get them again. It is time to step up without worry, without fear, without judgment of ourselves or worrying about judgment from others. Any judgment that comes to you from this day forward bounces off. You can see it clearly for what it is. It doesn't affect you. Just go. Just do your thing. Do what you need to do and step up in the power and the beauty that you are. Whatever that intuition is telling you. You have the power and the capability to create everything that you need. To do what you want to do in this world. And don't worry what others think. We were built on a society that was not real. Can you be an entrepreneur? Yes, yes, you can. Can you make money with very little things? Yes, yes, you can. Can we depend on this world to supply our needs going forward? No, not so much. You must do it yourself. 
Set your intentions daily. Connect to spirit and create the reality that you wish to create. Connecting with spirit is truly connecting to yourself, your heart, what it is that you want. What do you want to create? What do you want in this world? That's what it's about. Those nudges that spirit's been giving you. We don't have time to waste anymore. We can't just sit back and go, eh, because it's now or never, my friends. It's one side or the other. And that is the way it is. The decision we make now determines where we go tomorrow. This is ascension related. It is our future related. Okay. That's not about fear. It's about power. Get your power. What are your dreams telling you to do? What have you been nudged to do? Do it. The time is now. This was about eliminating the fear, the procrastination, and making sure we can get the job done. I also received the healing today too. I do this often. These are very powerful. They seem simple. They seem subtle, but they do great things. Okay. Keep healing. Stay open. And so much love to all of you. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you soon. Until next time, rock this world. This ascension is yours. It is for you. Make it the best you can.